What's up guys and 2021 is indeed surprising for Samsung. Samsung with AMD's partnership is going well, AMD's RDNA graphics architecture is all set to debut in the next year's Exynos 1000 chipset but now it has taken a completely new and dramatic direction that we have never imagined. We all are expecting great performance from AMD's GPU in the upcoming Exynos 1000 but the CPU is also going to be equally powerful and could completely change the game. This year Samsung has been humiliated a lot and yep, they did a mistake with their Exynos 990 going with their custom Mongoose cores whereas Qualcomm they stick to the ARM cores and we get superior Galaxy S20 models in not just US and China but also in Japan and Korea while the Eurasia gets that inferior Exynos 990. But as we know Samsung has learned their lesson and already fired their whole Mongoose team department which potentially means that this time they are switching completely towards ARM cores and now we know why they are doing it. So ARM has officially announced their Cortex A78 cores for high performance and the Cortex X1 cores for the ultimate performance which could potentially bring Exynos back in the game. So as I've said to you Qualcomm also use ARM's stock Cortex cores but with a little bit of modification that will further allow them to enhance the performance and making their in-house Cairo modification even powerful than stock Cortex cores. So if you are thinking that with just stock Cortex cores, Samsung is gonna beat Qualcomm, so that's not possible of course. Qualcomm is investing billions in their in-house modification to be the master of Android chip maker. So how do you expect Samsung beating Qualcomm by just using stock cores? So this is where ARM's latest and Cortex X1 cores comes in. So the Cortex A78 cores is an upgrade over the A77 with 20% performance gain whereas the Cortex X1 cores on the other hand is 30% faster than A77 cores. ARM actually made this Cortex X1 cores as a response to the modification of Qualcomm and Apple so that everyone gets equal performance and no one can actually think of ditching ARM in future. Of course Qualcomm is not going to use the Cortex X1 cores in their chips because they already have their Cairo modification which leaves Samsung only to use their ultimate performing cores to match the level of Qualcomm and Apple's modification. This is the reason why Samsung has shut down its mongoose department because they pretty much know that ARM is also working on this type of rivalry thing so they don't need to invest their billions because their BS mongoose have proven to the worst cores in the history of Android. But now let's hope next year's Exynos will be better than Qualcomm if not in CPU then in GPU definitely because they are all set to use AMD's RDNA graphics in next year's Exynos flagship chipset which had already proved to be the best GPU in smartphone. But again we have to wait some more testing, it's too early. I'm pretty damn sure it's gonna beat Qualcomm but I'm just curious to know by how much margin. So wait and just hit that subscribe button and also the bell icon and do let me know what other mistakes Samsung is doing right now and they haven't realized that. Do let me know, I'll try to make videos on that and I'll see you in the next one.